this brave soul is about to willingly and knowingly go blind. No, he hasn't lost his mind. He's taking part in an experiment that recreates blind sight. Blind sight is a condition that some patients experience after having damage to the primary visual cortex in the back of their brains. What happens in these patients is they go cortically blind. They can't see any information in their visual world. While no one is ever going to say blind sight is 2020, neuroscientist Tony Rowe says it holds tantalizing clues to the architecture of the brain. There are a lot of other areas of the brain that are involved with processing visual information, but without any visual awareness. So these other parts of the brain receive input from the eyes, but they're not allowing us to access it consciously. With support from the National Science Foundation, Rowe is developing a clearer picture of how other parts of the brain, besides the visual cortex, respond to visual stimuli. Click on the left, and if you see a diamond, click on the right. That clicking is a powerful magnetic pulse being shot right into this man's visual cortex, disabling it and blinding him just for a fraction of a second. That blindness occurs on the order of about 1 20th of a second or so. Just as the pulse blinds him, a shape flashes onto a computer screen in front of him. Turns out 60 to nearly 100% of the time, test subjects report back the shape correctly. They'll be at significantly above chance levels at discriminating those shapes, even though they're unaware of them. And sometimes they're nearly perfect at it. In case you are concerned, the blindness wears off almost immediately. No lasting effects. But the findings are telling. What this condition of blindsight tells us is that there are likely to be a lot of alternative visual pathways that go into the brain from our eyes that uh, process information at unconscious levels. Rowe says understanding and mapping those alternative pathways might be key to new rehabilitative therapies. Currently we have a lot of soldiers returning home who have brain damage to visual areas of the brain. We might be able to rehabilitate these patients. And that's something worth looking into. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.